Check out that sunrise, guys. We are at the Harris Ranch Inn and Restaurant. Small little stopover. I shouldn't say it's small. It's uh, it's pretty big. And if you can drive it here, they can fuel it. They have superchargers for the Teslas. They've got their regular electric chargers for your electric cars. Over there is some a hydrogen fuel station and diesel trucks. It's been a pretty good stop but I wanted to give you an update. I've got my coffee and I figured I'd share with you a little bit. One of the things that you can do here is you can fly your plane in. They've got an airport here and this area right in front of us here is a parking lot for the airplanes. This place was full yesterday, absolutely full. There was a big race in town um, and people were coming from all around. But that isn't why I'm sharing with you what's going on. I figured I'd share the sunrise with you and um, kind of tell you what happened last night. That was kind of scary. You can see we're parked right over there. There's the Endeavor. And here's what happened last night. And you can see the red lights behind me. Those are sheriff's vehicles. A plane literally just crashed right beside us. And it's right over there. And when I say right beside us, uh, I say the plane is about a hundred feet away from the coach. You see the tail sticking up. It looks like a Cessna. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see of this. Let's see if we can get. Doesn't look too bad. Looks like he overshot the runway. Maybe landed in the wrong direction. I'm not sure. But doesn't look like anybody was hurt, but I don't want to distract from their investigation. The police are helping the pilot and stuff out, and uh, if I have any more information, I just don't want to, you can see the tail number is N22232. I actually saw that plane parked over here earlier today so I'm wondering if he tried to take off and had engine trouble is my guess. Um, if a sheriff's officer comes over here and talks to me I will uh, I'll relay what he says but I don't want to I don't want to get in the way I don't know how to adjust the camera to get a better shot I don't know if you can see my face or not um, so, yeah, the, we're right at the end of a runway, and uh, it looks like, and my guess is, I'm looking at the tail number on this plane, and uh, I'm going to try adjusting my camera here to give a better shot of this thing, to see if I can turn up the ISO. Hold on a second. Okay, so I just uh, can't even tell if we're getting... Uh, you can see some of the emergency vehicles 
here. Just Sheriff. Doesn't look like anybody was hurt. Let's see if I can get another shot of the plane. I don't know if I can see it or not. Lights are not on the plane. So and I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm gonna hold the camera and wait here. Maybe one of these vehicles will shine lights on that and uh, if they can I'll I'll come back to it. No fire, no fire engines, no ambulances, so everything looks like it's under control. Um, if we talk to a sheriff's deputy, we'll, uh, I'll relay what they say. We'll talk to you in a bit. Bye, guys. I honestly don't know. I just got picked up to help out put the tape up is all. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. We didn't hear anything. We were inside the coach 100 feet away. Yeah? Wow. Uh, so these guys can't say anything on camera. But as you can see, there's a few of us over here. And you can see there's another one right there. But we decided this probably wasn't the best place to park to the back here. There's a whole line of bushes that kind of blocks our view of the highway and uh, this is what we were not expecting last night. How often does that happen guys? Um, yeah, we had emergency vehicles, we had, uh, apparently, and then as near as I can tell, or I'll show you the footage, um, you can see the tracks of the plane, uh, the plane tried to take off, and it looks like it had engine trouble or something, and ended up right here, and this is about 100 feet away from us. We, you can't, I don't know if you could see us through the bushes here. About 100 feet away from us. Um, we weren't expecting that. So we're obviously going to be moving today. We had already planned on moving today. But, um, we have decided that this probably is not the best place to park now. I wanted to share this with you and uh, it just you don't you don't get this every day and definitely uh, we didn't hear it crash. We didn't. We were inside watching TV, uh, relaxing. It was about 7:30 at night. Um, it was dark, so unfortunately, the camera footage. I don't have any lighting or anything on my uh, on my phone. We didn't notice anything unusual over on this side of the coach until the emergency vehicles started showing up. And uh, wow. So I guess we're going to keep it in mind whenever we're looking for boondocking locations or lot docking locations. A lot of times they're by airports. It might not be the best place to park uh, at the end of a runway. And uh, that's, that's the runway over there. You can see the cars going by on I-5. Harris Ranch is right alongside I-5. Um, it's been a, it's, it's, it's been a good day, or it's been a good stay here, but, um, yeah, I think, uh, from now on, when we're looking for some place to boondock, 
we may choose something that isn't at the end of a runway you guys have a good morning I've got my coffee we're still here and uh, share the plane one more time with you well we gotta we gotta get out of here we've got places to be we got videos coming up those will be up shortly and uh, we'll see if we can't get this one up in the meanwhile bye guys hello my beautiful sweet girl I have not held you in so long hello my silent little love just too shy to fly away. GoPro, stop recording.